Hey guys, welcome to this session by K21 Academy. So we are going to talk about AWS Cloud Formation and perform some hands-on labs. Also guys, before moving on to this session, please subscribe to our channel so that you will never miss an update on our upcoming videos. Now let us take a quick glance at the agenda. So we will start this session by understanding why do we need AWS Cloud Formation. Once we are done with that, we will see what is AWS Cloud Formation. Post that, we are going to see the benefits of using Cloud Formation. And then we will understand how does cloud formation work. Post that, we will be knowing how to deploy the cloud formation templates. And then we will be getting started with AWS cloud formation. Also, we will be understanding the structure of JSON document. At the end, we will be having two demos. First one will be simple one, where we will be creating S3 bucket from cloud formation. Second one will be little advanced one, where we will be installing the LAMP package on EC2 using cloud formation. Now let's see why do we need AWS cloud formation. When the number of infrastructure services and products are doubled due to the necessity, then AWS can't handle all at the same time, right? So this is when AWS cloud formation comes into picture. It is actually infrastructure as a code which can create a seamless clone of the server configuration at any time that will ease the problems faced by the AWS. With AWS cloud formation, the configuration changes can be made dynamically as well as embedded into the existing environment without any obstruction. So managing multiple AWS resources is a tedious task as well as quite time consuming task, right? In the absence of AWS cloud formation, developers focus their attention and time on building the infrastructure and the services and focus less on the application development. So rebuilding any infrastructure product or services is more challenging, right? So even deploying the existing environment is also a hectic task, right? As everything has to be started from scratch. Now this is where AWS cloud formation comes as the savior. Now let's see what is AWS cloud formation. So AWS cloud formation is a service that allows you to create and manage collection of Amazon Web Services resources based on a template, right? So AWS cloud formation allows you to model the resources you need for an application or solution in a text file formatted in JSON or YAML. So this template, which you can upload manually or retrieve from an S3 bucket, defines the collection of resources as a single unit called stack. So cloud formation translates the template parameters into API calls and creates the stack. It then provisions the stack resources as a running environment. You can create, update, and delete stacks by using AWS Cloud Formation Console or AWS API or AWS Command Line Interface. Now let's discuss the benefits of using Cloud Formation. So when we say model complete infrastructure, Cloud Formation enables you to model your entire infrastructure and application resources with either a text file or a programming language, right? So Cloud Formation CLI and Registry make it easy to manage third-party resources with Cloud Formation and then automate and deploy. So cloud formation provisions your application process in a safe and repeatable manner, allowing you to build and rebuild your applications and infrastructure without having to perform manual actions or write custom scripts, right? So cloud formation takes administration of determining the right operations to perform when managing your stack, orchestrating them most efficiently and rolls back changes automatically if errors are detected and then cloud formation at core. So cloud formation is just a code. Codifying your infrastructure enables you to treat your infrastructure as just code, right? So you can write it with any code editor, check it into a version control system and review the files with the team members before deploying into the production. Now let's see how does cloud formation work. So we will upload the templates in Amazon S3 behind the scenes and cloud formation pulls them from S3, right? And so when we want to update templates, we actually can't edit previous templates, right? We have to re-upload a new version of this template to AWS and then configuration might be different to figure out. So stacks will be identified by name and the names can be very long. If you delete a stack, every single artifact, a thing that was created through the cloud formation, stack will be deleted with it. So it is really nice because you can delete all these resources. They have been created with one click. And so you're sure that you're not leaving anything behind. Now let's see how can we deploy cloud formation templates. So it can be either deployed through manual way or automated way. Now let's see both the ways. 
So firstly, when we talk about manual way, so you will be editing the templates in the cloud formation designer and you will be using the console to input parameters and all. So when we talk about automated way, you will be editing the templates in a YAML file. You can use the AWS CLI to deploy the templates. So in general, it is recommended to use the automated way when you fully want to automate your flow. Now, how do we get started in AWS cloud formation? Since it is a very useful service, how can a user use this service? So for using the cloud formation service, first of all, you need a JSON script. Now, why do you need a JSON script? Because you would be creating a template in the cloud formation designer, right? So you would be using the drag and drop option and filling in the AWS resources, right? Now, when you will be doing that in the backend, it will be actually creating a JSON script. Now, what can you do as a user? So if you're good in JSON, you can create your own JSON script. Otherwise, you can use the cloud formation to create a template. Now, what is JSON script? So JSON script is basically JavaScript object notation file, which is an open standard format. That means it is human readable, right? So you can read it as well as the computer. So you don't need the programming knowledge for this. So this is how you will be using AWS cloud formation. But then how can you learn the JSON script? So it is very easy guys. Basically, you have to follow the structure in the JSON document. Now, what is this structure? So the structure is like this. You will be creating the following fields. So the first field will be AWS template format version. So this will basically contain the version of the template, right? And the next one is description. So description is text only field wherein you will be describing the template in words, right? So if I'm a user and I want to know what your JSON does without going through the JSON script from beginning to end, I can simply read your description and understand. Then you have the metadata. So metadata will basically contain the properties of your template. And then we have parameters. So any value that you have to pass to the template will be included in parameters. And then comes mappings. So mappings would basically include the dependencies between your AWS resources. Then comes conditions. So conditions are basically the conditions that you will be giving to your template when the stack would be created or the stack is upgraded. Then comes output. So whatever output your template will provide or creation of your stack will provide will come into the output header. And then we have resources field. So resources field would basically include all the AWS resources that you want to include in your infrastructure. So this is our first demonstration. So we will be creating S3 bucket from cloud formation. So guys, this is the cloud formation designer. Now you have to create a stack over here, right? And for the creation of stack, you require a template. So firstly, we will design a template and then we will create a stack. Now before that, we have to create an S3 bucket from cloud formation. Now let's scroll down to S3 service. So here is the S3 service. So we will click on this bucket and drag it over here. So this is our S3 bucket guys. Now we can edit the name of the template over here. So we can edit as K21 Academy CF that is K21 Academy cloud formation. So let's refresh this. So this is our JSON code. Now I did not code this JSON script. I just have dragged and dropped this bucket over here in the cloud formation and it automatically generated the script, right? So we have the name of the bucket and then we have the type wherein we have specified it as S3 service. So if you want to change the name of the bucket, you can do that as well. So this is all you have to do. So for running this on cloud formation, all you have to do is click on this icon create stack. Now this will lead me to this page which is create stack page. Now it has automatically uploaded this template to S3 bucket and it has specified the URL here, right? So we will click on next. Now specify the stack name. Let's specify it as K21 Academy CF. Click on next. So you don't have to specify anything over here. Let's click on next. Click on create stack. So you will be seeing the events on this page. So let's refresh this page. So my template has been created into a stack and that stack will have the AWS resource, which is the S3 bucket. Now it shows me that create is complete. Now let's go to our S3 service and check whether we have that bucket that our AWS cloud formation created for us. So we will go to the S3 service and here it is. So this is the bucket that we have created. So guys, it is very easy to understand and deploy as well. So basically you have to just create a template. That's it. AWS cloud formation will do the rest for you. And the cool part is that you can replicate the template as many times as you want, right? So it will save the time. So this demonstration is done.
So we have created an S3 bucket using cloud formation. Now in the second demonstration, we will be creating an EC2 instance in which we will be deploying the LAMP stack. Which means in the EC2 instance, we will be installing Linux, we will be installing Apache, we will be installing MySQL and we will be installing PHP as well. So for our second demonstration, we will again go back to the cloud formation console. Click on create stack. Now click on use a sample template. Now we have to launch a LAMP stack. So choose that. So LAMP stack is basically a sample template in AWS, right? Now let's click on view in designer. So a LAMP stack is basically an EC2 instance with Linux, Apache, MySQL and PHP installed onto it, right? You can see in the designer that we have specified an EC2 instance and we have attached a security group to it. So we would need the security group obviously because we have to connect this to EC2 instance, right? Now LAMP stack is basically a web server. Now let's see the template for this LAMP stack. So we have already discussed the structure of JSON document if you guys remember. So the first part is AWS template format version. Then we have description. Then we have parameters. So parameters are the values that we pass into the template. Now if you are creating the LAMP stack, we will need the database name. We will need the database password. We will need a lot of things, right? So if you are installing MySQL, you will require the username. You will require the password. So all of that you can feed in here in the parameters. So you can specify the key name. If you are connecting to the EC2 instance through SSH connection, you would need a key pair, right? You would be specifying the key pair here. Then you will be specifying the DB name and the other details. Now how will that look when we will be creating a stack? So let's do that. Now we will click on this icon which will create stack automatically. So we will be prompting onto this page. Click on next. Then we will reach this page wherein we need to feed the entry. So we need to specify the stack name. Let it be K21 Academy Lamp Demo. And then we move on to the parameters part. So whatever you have specified in the JSON parameters field will be reflected over here. So let's give the DB name as K21 Academy. So let me give the DB password. Now let me give the DB root password. And let me give the DB user as K21 Academy. So let me choose the instance type as t1.micro. Why t1.micro? Because if you have noticed in the template we didn't specify a virtual private cloud that is VPC. Now all the new instances which are there in EC2 are to be default launched in a VPC. Since we have created a JSON file and we didn't specify a VPC, you have to select an older version of the EC2 instance. And then we have to specify a key name. So the key name is basically used to create an SSH connection to your instance, right? So our key pair is K21 Academy. Now SSH location is basically your IP address which you want to specify, right? Now I don't want to specify it. So we will click on next. So you don't have to enter anything over here. Click on next. So confirm and click on create stack. Now what's happening in the background? It is picking up the JSON file and is creating a stack for us. It will launch an EC2 instance. It will then install Linux onto that. And it will then install Apache, MySQL and PHP installation. So once the creation is completed, we will go and check if everything has been installed on our server by creating an SSH connection, right? As you can see under the events, that creation is now complete. So let's check that if our installation has been done. So we will go to the EC2 instance. Now this is our instance which has just been created. Now let's connect to this instance. For that, we will have to copy the IP address. So this is the putty software. So for those of you who don't know how to connect to EC2, you will be pasting your IP address over here, right? And then we have this private file, but this is of the PEM extension. So putty software needs a PPK extension. So you have to convert this PEM file to PPK that can be done using putty gen software. So let me load the PEM file. So it's under downloads. Let me click on downloads and put it as all files. And then let me choose this PEM file and save the private key. So let me save it as K21 Academy. Now go back to your putty software. 
So you have entered the IP address over here. You will click on SSH and then click on authentication. So click on browse and then go to your PPK file. And then click on open. So now you will be connected to your EC2 instance through SSH. So any Linux installation on your AWS infrastructure login will be easy to user. Alright, so you are in. Now let's see if you can connect to MySQL. MySQL localhost and then port number is 3306 and then user is K21 Academy and then password. Okay guys, we are in. That means we have successfully created K21 Academy username that we have specified in the JSON script. So we have put down everything about the certification including the basic concepts that one should know everything like introduction to DevOps on cloud, software development lifecycle automation, configuration management and infrastructure as code and monitoring and logging in AWS, policy and automation in AWS, incident and event response, high availability fault tolerance and disaster recovery. So in this 12 week roadmap, we take you from basics to advanced level along with the tips and resources for clearing the certification exam. We also have a separate team working for CV preparation and on job support. So if you want to become AWS certified DevOps engineer professional and want to learn right from basics to expert level, then we have a comprehensive step by step training for you that includes hands on labs, including exam preparation, and most important part, one year on job support. So if you are interested in this program, then I would highly recommend you to attend the free class, which covers most of the topics like DevOps with AWS and tools, continuous integration and continuous deployment tools, AWS Elastic Beanstalk, infrastructure as code, and many other topics. So if you are interested in this free class, you can visit k21academy.com slash AWS DevOps 02. You can also find the link in the description.